Welcome to the microprocessor and microcontroller lecture series. In this lecture, we are going to see what are the assembler directives are used in this 8086 microprocessor. First, what is mean by assembler directive? It is a special course placed in the assembly language program to instruct the assembler to perform a particular task or function. Once again, I repeat here, it is a special code. It is a special course placed in the assembly language program. It is placed in the assembly language program to instruct the assembler. What is the mean of the assembler? The assembler in the sense it can convert the assembly level language into the machine level language. Okay. This is the assembly language program to instruct the assembler to perform a particular task of a function. Particular task of a function. Then the assembly directives are the instruction to the assembler regarding the program being assembled. How the program to be assembled in an assembler, it is called as the assembly directive. They are also called as the pseudo instruction. Okay, what is the function of, what are the function to specify in this assembler directive? It is a start and end of the program, attach the value to variables, allocate the storage location to input output data, and to define the start and end of the segment and procedures, macros and etc. These are some assembler directories are used in this 8086 microprocessor. Okay, this assembler directories control the generation of machine code and organize the program. This is the assembler directory to organize the program in a structural way. Okay, this is the assembler directory. But this assembler directory does not have any machine codes. Okay, now we are going to see the what are the assembly directories are used in this 8086 microprocessor programming. Okay, the first one is the assume. The assume in the sense it is indicate the name of each segment to the assembler. Name of each segment to the assembler. Next one is byte. It is indicated a byte size operand. Next one is DB. It is defined a byte. Used to define a byte type variable. That is a 8 bit variable. Next one is a DW. This is a defined the byte. Used to define the 16 bit variable. Next one is a DWORD. This is a double byte. Indicate a double byte size operand. Okay. Next one is a DD. It is a defined double byte. Used to define the 32 bit variable. Next one is a DQ. It is defined a quad verb used to define the 64 bit variable. Next one, DT. It is a defined 10 byte used to define the 10 byte of a variable. Next one is a DUP. This is a duplicate generation duplicates of character or number. It can be duplicate of the character or numbers. Okay. Next set. It is a next set of the assembly directive. This is a end indicate the end of the program. This one is an end P. It is the end of procedure. It is the end indicate. It is indicate the end of the procedure. Next one is end years. It is indicate the end of the memory segment. Okay. Next one is a EQU. This is a equate used to numeric value or constant to the variable. Next one is a even. Inform the assembler to align the data array string from even address. That means if even address only the data to be aligned. Next one is FAR fair. It is used to declare the procedure as for which assign the FAR address. Okay. Next one is a macro. It defines the name, parameter, and start of a macro. Next one is near. It is used to declare the procedure as near, which assign a near address. Okay. Next one is offset. Specify an offset data. It is specifying the offset address. The next set of directives are persistent ORG. It is mentioned as the ORG. It is used to assign the starting address for your program module or data segment. It can mention the starting address of the program module or data segment. Next one is PROC. This is a procedure. Define the beginning of the procedure. This is defining the beginning of the procedure. Next one is PTR. This is the pointer. It is used to indicate the type of memory access by word or double word. Okay. Next one is a public. Used to declare the variable as common to various program module. Next one segment. Define the start of memory segment. Next one stack. It indicates the segment is a stack. Next one is a shard. It is used to assign a byte of displacement to jump instruction. Next one, this is used to equate the directive to set a label to byte, bar, or double word. Next one is a WORT. Indicate the word size operand. Next one is a. Now we are going to see some of the assembler directories in detail. The first one is a 
DW is already I told that it is a defined byte. The directive DB is used to define byte type of variable. The byte in the set it is a 8 bit data. 8 bit data. Okay. In a DB command, it reserves specific amount of memory to variable and stores the value specific in the statement as initial value in the allocated memory location. The allocated memory location it can store in the 8 bit of data. It can store in the 8 bit of data. This is called as the DB defined by the range of value can be stored in a byte type variable is 0 to 255. It is an unsigned value. In the hexadecimal numbers changes from 0, 0 to F, F. Okay. Next, in a signed value changes from minus 128 to 127. In a hexadecimal representation, 00H to 7FH for positive values and 80FH to FFH for the negative value. Clear? Here I will explain with example. Here the byte, the first example is byte db is mentioned as the 10h what is the meaning of that one the data by data by bit it can store in the 8 bit of data okay here this is a memory segment this memory segment can store in the value of 10h this memory segment name is called as the byte 1 this is called as the defined byte okay next byte 2 if you are giving the any name for example here we are giving the uh, the number uh, we are giving the sorry we are giving the any name the number as like a n n u m number decibel of db of 110h as like that we are mentioning the address of this memory location as like that we are mentioning the by 2 decibel 255 255 in the sense it changes from 0 f of h to as the maximum and for the byte okay it is a maximum is 0 f of h okay here we are going to mention this is the decimal representation is an hexadecimal representation here is the memory location can store the value of ff this memory location name is called as the byte 2 this memory location name is called as the byte 2 this is the define the byte value okay next one is a define the verb as similar to the byte here we are going to store the 16 bit variable here we are going to store the 16 bit variable it reserves Two consecutive memory location here the in a DB it can reserve the single memory location but in a byte it serves the two consecutive memory location to each variable and store the 16 bit value specified in this statement as the initial value in allocated memory location. The range of the value can be stored in a byte type variable is 0 to 65535 is the decimal number. This value changes from 4024FH value for the unsigned value. In a signed value, the changes are like that. This is the it is a signed value. Okay, 0000H to 7FFFH for the positive value. And the negative value changes from 8000H to F. F, F, F for the negative value. Okay, this is the example of the defined word. The word 1234 can be stored in the particular memory location. This DB is, this DW is, I'll reserve the two memory location. One is storing the 12, another one is storing the 34. Then the memory location name is called as the, the word or any other name we are given with our wish. Okay, this is the defined word. Next one is a segment and X. The direct segment is used to indicate the Beginning of the code. Okay, clear to understand this one. The directive segment is used to indicate the beginning of the code, data, and stack segment. In a memory location of the 8086 microprocessor, it has the four memory locations are there. One is a code segment. Already I uh, explained in this architecture uh, lecture code segment and stack segment. This is a data segment and extra segment and extra segment this segment can be starting okay this this directory is segment is used to indicate the beginning of the code or data as segment okay clear the directive end is used to indicate the end of the code segment or end of this data segment or end of the stack segment okay this is the example here is this mentioned the data segment here is the data end. This is we are writing the program for the data defining statement. Okay. If you are mentioning the code segment, in the code end, here mention the code defining statement. Okay, clear. Next we are going to see the assume. The assume directives used to tell the 
are similar that the name of the logical segment should be used for the specified segment. So once again, I repeat here, it is a directive. Okay, it is assume is the directive of the 8086 microprocessor. This is used to tell the assembler, assembler that the name of the logical segment should be used in a specified segment in memory. Four segments are were used in this 8086 microprocessor. Already I told data segment, stack segment, extra segment, and code segment. Okay, clear. Here we are going to mention assume CES is colon code. Okay. This code is mentioned for the code segment value. This code is mentioned for the code segment value. This DS is mentioned. Okay, here assume the data segment. The name is replaced by the data. Okay, this data is mentioned as the data segment. This is the assume function. Okay, next one is the ORG end and EQU. ORG is already I told you it is a sorting address of the data segment or any address of this effective address. End is used to terminate the program. EQU is used to attach a value to the variable. First, we are going to see ORG. ORG, ORG in the sense, it is a starting ORG in the sense, it is a starting address of the program. Next one is a port 1 equal to 0 F2H. Here, this is the port number. This port number is equal to, this port number 1 is equal to 0 F2H. This is the equate, EQU. This is a function of the equation. This is a function of the equation. If the port 1 is number is equate to the 0 F2H. 0 F2H. This is the directories. This one is a procedure. Far, near and end procedure. These are used to define the procedure as subprotein. Okay. This is simply, it says that it is a subprogram. Okay, this is a sub program. If I mention the PROC, this is the beginning of this sub program or sub routine. Okay, next ENP, this is mentioned at the end of the process, the end of the sub routine or sub program. Okay, next inside here we are using the near. Okay, and far. This is the intra segment call. If you are calling the intra segment, we are using the near. If you are Calling the inner segment, we are using the fab. Okay, clear. This is called from another segment. Is called called fab. If you are using the call, if you are calling the intra segment, if you are calling the intra segment, this is using for the near. If you are calling the inner segment, it is calling the fab. This simply says this call with the segment, call from the another segment. Okay, this is some example. This is the procedure name. You are giving the any name of the procedure. And procedure is calling the near or far, call for the inter or intra. It depends upon our program, we are calling the. Okay, inside the program is a sub program or sub routine, is called as a sub routine. Okay, next this is the RET is mentioned for the last statement of the procedure. And uh, finally, the end procedure is called, is going to the main program, is going to the main program. Next is a short. This directory short is used to reserve one memory location for. 8 bit sign displacement in jump instruction. We are using the jump instruction. For example, jump shot your head. Okay, what is the meaning of this one? The shot can be reserved on memory location for the 8 bit sign displacement. This directive will reserve one memory location for the 8 bit displacement name is called as the ear head by which we, where it going to jump. Okay, this is called as the shot. Okay, next one is macro and end m. The macro in the set, it is a so it is, it is also a program, it is also a sub program, it is a very, very small size of a program. In we are in, in in upcoming lecture, we are going to discuss in detail of the macro and procedure. Here this is some uh, uh, assembler directive. I will give some introduction of this macro. The macro is indicate the, uh, the beginning of the macro. This is a sub um, starting of the sub program. And end M is the end of the macro. Okay, here the macro and end M must enclose the definition, declaration, and program statement which are being substituted at the invocation of a macro. For example, here macro. This macro is contained the program statement in macro. This is mean it is a sub program is calling from this main program. This sub program is calling from this main program by using the macro name. Okay, this is called as the macro. Okay, so this is the end of the assembler directory. This assembly directories are used in this writing of the 8086 microprocessor program, but in this the assembly directory does not any machine code to support. It's any machine code to support. Okay, clear. Thank you.